Oh, snap, y'all. We got a good show for you tonight. Stick around. Welcome to the Tito Bonito Show. Tonight's very special guests, Raindrop Lopez and Jeez Louise. And now, please welcome your host, the Cuban Missile Crisis of Burlesque himself, Tito Bonito. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Tito Bonito Show. I know there might be a little bit of reverb in my voice today, but that's Lisa Lefty Lopez, so we're just gonna have to deal with that. Uh, welcome to the Tito Bonito Show. Today is an epic episode. I am so excited to have two wondrous women who are multifaceted, multi talented, and one of them who is very near and dear. Actually, both of them are very near and dear to my heart. Um, so I'm very excited for the show today. Hella nervous, so we gonna have a good ass time either way though. Before I get started, I do wanna introduce you all to the show if you haven't seen it before. This is a late night talk show. It's basically my audition to be on NBC and to replace the talk shows that have, you know, we got too many hosts with the name Jimmy and James in them. So let's switch it up, all right? Uh, we're gonna have a good time tonight. I also wanna shout out really quick that this weekend, Sunday, we have the Pansy Craze Peep Show on Twitch. It's going to be on the Princess Forever channel, which is run by Tito Soto, the Puerto Rican Tito. And it's going to be a good time. We have Jeez Louise, who's in the show tonight, making a very special performance for it. And we have a crazy set list of performances, including the top three performers in burlesque in the world at this time, and a slew of other ones, including Jezebel Thunder, who is in the chat tonight. Also... If you have any questions for Raindrop or Jeez Louise in the show tonight, there is a question mark box that you can uh, push. And I'm not saying I'm gonna read your question, but I'll definitely uh, read it. I won't read it out loud probably, but we'll see, we'll see. If it's a good one, I will. Um, also, what else do I wanna mention really quick? You can subscribe to my softcore OnlyFans for only $5 a month and support me, or you can go to any of the links in my bio to support me any sort of way, because we are still in a pandemic and I am creating this show from my small ass apartment in downtown Los Angeles. Oh wait, no, I don't live there anymore. I'm coming to you live from the Ooh La La Review Studios in San Diego, California. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So it's gonna be a good time. I've said that 14 million times already. Uh, before we get started, anyone that knows me knows that I am a ride or die TLC fan. t Boz, especially Left Eye and Chili, were childhood sheroes of mine since I was nine years old. I have a whole epic essay on my website, titobonito.com, and you can read more about how they influenced my life and my childhood and me as an artist. Uh, especially Lisa, who was very creative, very multifaceted. And on top of all of that, she just was undeniably a beautiful spirit. And through that, I was able to meet our first guest uh, at a book signing for t Boss's recent book, A Sick Life. And I was like, yo, uh, I'm going to throw it out there. I am a burlesque performer. And if you're in town this week, I'd love to invite you to a show. And they said yes. And they actually came. Raindrop came to the show. She came to Tease If You Please at the Globe Theater in downtown Los Angeles. And it was her first live burlesque show. Uh, and she came to a couple other ones, including Mar Marijuana Madness. So all of my love goes out to her. But let's get to know uh, the first lady of hip rock, y'all. I'm about to bring her on to your screen. So please, without any further ado, uh, let me do this real quick. Give it up for the sister of Lisa Left Eye Lopez, the incredible multifaceted artist, Raindrop Lopez. 
Ooh, it's black. Hey. <laughs> Look, I got a Hi, little. Tito. I got a little thing for you. Look at that. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> How are Aww. you doing? My website. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm actually going to turn off the comments so everyone can see your beautiful face and we can just have a good old time. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Uh, I love, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for doing this show. You know, I love you so much. Oh, you know, I love you too. And I miss uh, those burlesque shows, especially <laughs> Marijuana Madness. Oh my gosh, like I tell everyone about that. <laughs> yeah, what did you like so much about marijuana? Was it all the free marijuana? <laughs> yes. I can't wait because I want to smoke it out with you or eat it out with you. Yes, yeah, yeah, I don't smoke at all. Just Which is edible. fine because we can edible it up, you know? Yes. <laughs> but Raindrop, you are a busy young lady. You have been the first lady of hip rock for the for a while since I remember it. Do you want to tell everybody a little bit about this genre that is uh, exclusive to you and hopefully yeah. branching out? Yeah, sure. So when I first started doing music, I mean, it was only natural for me to infuse rock with hip hop because that was the influences that I grew up in. Like Lisa was always listening to hip hop and I gravitated towards rock. So, you know, to mix the two, it was only natural. I love that. And then, so what is uh, the state of the music right now for Raindrop? Do we, am I getting that signed album? <laughs> can I get a feature well, where I shout out some stuff? <laughs> Anybody can go on um, any of the streaming platforms where they stream their music. They can just type in my name and then all my songs will come up. I am currently working on some new stuff that will include me and Lisa as well. Whew, you can't and be dropping. Probably the first to hear this. And I was just going to say you can't drop <laughs> exclusive stuff like that and not allow me to get a shiver in my body. <laughs> See, this is the thing. I do believe uh, spiritually that we are connected to people no matter whether they're, they're physically here or not. If we were emotionally connected to them, they physically are still around us. And I remember, even though it kind of seemed as a joke, when you came to your first burlesque show at Tease and I was hosting, there was this little single white glitter that fell from the middle of it. There was no thing holding it up there and it was just the tiniest and it fell right in my hand. And I remember being like, that's left eye. And you were in the audience like, yeah. <laughs> And everyone else was like, <laughs> everyone else was like, I don't know if that's what it was, but I like to believe that it was. What do you, how do you feel? Because I don't, I want to make sure that we don't talk about stuff that maybe we shouldn't be talking about. But last that I heard, you were working on a book and a potential movie to showcase the real story about her. Because a lot was left out in the TLC movie, especially as much as I love, you know, as much as I love my girls, it did feel a little bit off to have a movie where the girls were centered with their families, especially their moms, except Lisa. Yeah. So is and that so, still something that you're working on? Yeah, because, you know, Lisa's family was around her all the time, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you know, there was a lot left out in the movie and, you know, we didn't have any input, you know, and that's okay, you know, it was Tian and Chili telling their story and, you know, they have a right to do that. So, you know, I have to tell, you know, Lisa's story from, you know, her perspective as close as I can get to it, you know. So that's my goal is to, um, you know, make the movie about the true essence of Lisa, you know, so you'll learn, you know, the behind the scenes stuff, stuff she was doing or thinking backstage, like before she goes out to a show, childhood stuff, you know, the drama we grew up with and, you know, just like you'll get bits and pieces of her spirituality, just, you know, everything as a whole, it won't be just focused on, you know, her um, getting into TLC. They'll be focused on her entire life. And I'm also working on a book as well. I'm working on two books. One is a biography of her life. And the other book is actually a memory book. So I'm interviewing people that knew her, people that worked with her, you know, teachers in school when she was in school. And they're basically just telling, you know, their memories of Lisa. So I'm excited about that. That's amazing. And you actually were also the executive producer for The Last Days of Left Eye, which is probably one of the most like insightful and especially as someone who was a big fan of her, it was mm -hmm. almost like, in a sense, uh, it brought a little bit of peace, especially knowing that those were like her final days and just what she was going right. through. She was changing her life in such a positive way and wanting to reach out to other people. Because like, I was a big part of... Uh, Cyber TLC world and all the message boards. Oh, where are you? Mm, yes. I used to have like a small, like a pretty, I like to say small because I'm humble, 
but a, a, a TLC fan site for the longest time. And Lisa used to come on the message boards and give us messages and, and talk to us. And that was always something that I felt was like, this is before Twitter. This is before Instagram, where it was easy for people to exactly. do things. And she was such a magical, like, essence, but like, cared so much about her fans, cared so much about people. And that was just one of the things that I felt like when she did go off to another place, I felt like the hardest thing to hear from was what did people think was kind of the thing that Lisa was most kind of, I guess, what was the biggest like misconception about her? Mm -hmm. And I think one of the biggest misconceptions is like the beginning of the career and, and not so much yeah. on the magic of what she was doing with the last couple of years of her life from like 97, not even just, yeah. and she was pretty quiet. Yeah. I think the bis biggest miscon misconception is, you know, people just labeled her as crazy, you know, and, you know, Lisa had a way of taking something and running with it and spinning it, you know, into a positive direction, you know, so like people that knew Lisa, you know, they knew who she was. And, you know, people that didn't know her, people just call what they don't know crazy, you know, if mm -hmm. something's different, or if they can't understand something, they just oh, that's crazy. You know what I mean? So yeah. Did you, when you guys were little, you, Ronald and her, did you guys kind of know what you wanted to be when you grew up? I didn't at all. I think Lisa always knew she was going to be some type of entertainer, whether it was modeling, acting, dancing, rapping, you know, she knew she was going to be in the spotlight for sure. Because she would teach, you know, me and my brother, um, like skits. Um, songs and like dances with like routines, not like intricate routines, just like step to the side, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. So she would be teaching us that as like little kids and we would like, you know, perform it for our parents or for like a local um, church or a local community event, you know, stuff like that. So we were known as the Lopez kids. I guess that would be her first group she formed. <laughs> yes. Listen, that's TLK. <laughs> The first ever TLK, look at that. She's just doing stuff. Did you enjoy doing it? Or was it something that like your big sister was like roping you into doing? No, anything Lisa wanted us to do, we were happy to do it. Like we just followed her lead, you know, it was like, hey, do this okay. Like, you know what I mean? It was just like, if Lisa said do it, you just did it because number one, it was usually always fun, you know? And number two, it was just like, you know, we just looked up to her, you know, like kind of like she was our second mom. Yeah, I you know, I was thinking about this. And I know a lot of people don't know the show. But uh, I was always thinking of like, having a remake with you hosting a mm -hmm. new version of the cut on MTV. Wow. Because wow. it would first of all, I don't even remember how that show came into my life. I just remember in 98. I was like, why is she hosting a show? And what, what, what? <laughs> and, and like, most people don't know Anastasia came from that show. Yep, and stuff like she sure that. Did. So it's like, I just wanted to say it out before we couldn't talk anymore. I'm like, I want to put it out there in the universe that Raindrop hosts the new cut. I mean, I would not be mad. I would definitely do it. <laughs> <laughs> the cut! That was my favorite. When TLC used to make fun of her too doing that, that was one of my favorites. It was, like, it was amazing. And it was honestly, that is the kind of artist that I always looked up to before I even understood art was the idea of competition doesn't really exist in the way that we want it to exist. There's enough room for everybody. That's something that she says. I know that's something that you believe in as well. And it's like, that's just one of those things that I carry with me because in the art scene, I still feel like there's a lot of people who are just like, there's only room for one of these types of things. There's only room for yeah. one. And it's like the idea of community will just breathe like better art out there because we're all going to be coming from a positive place, hopefully. Hopefully. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's some, that's something definitely I learned from you all. Um, so you've been doing a lot of stuff, though. You do charitable work through her name. You do also do it through yourself. You're a designer. You're yes. a lyricist. Is there anything that Raindrop does not know how to do? Um, there is. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, there's a lot. <laughs> what was uh what's been going on with the cooking show that you were thinking about doing i'm actually working on it now it's it's being revamped yes Ooh. so that is in the works if you ever so. need some cuban recipes let me know okay i will okay. teach you some maduro some croquetas empanadas Maybe, you know because i will be you know flying to other cities you know doing the show as well episodes so you know it's possible if that i can fly to your city and you can be a guest on my show 
is it going to be more uh, vegetarian and healthy dishes, or is it going to? It's have definitely healthy. That I can only do healthy, you know, cooking, but it won't be vegan because I'm not a vegan, right. you know. But there will be, be vegan dishes. Like this show will encompass every type of diet, but it'll be healthy. So you have the vegans, you have the vegetarians, you have the pescatarians, you have the paleos, you know. So all that will be incorporated in my show and then my cookbook as well. Bless you. Killing the game. Plus, also, you last time I talked to you, you said that you were doing, and you told me that you weren't really supposed to talk about it, but that was a while ago. And I believe it, like, the poster came out for it. You were in a movie, am I correct? Oh. Or we, have to, we can track it. Yeah, I, I think we just shot the trailer at that time. Oh, uh, okay. But yeah, I don't think we shot the whole movie. So, yeah, I think it was just the trailer. So that's kind of on the back burners for right now, you know, COVID kind of pushed everything back. So, you know, we'll see. Do you, do you feel like it's easy to work and, and, and adapt to the new way of kind of like having to do everything online? Do you think it's some ways easier? It's easier if you're, you know, if you're like, um, not lazy, but like if you're a homebody, it's easier because you like staying at home anyway, you know, but it, like for me, like I like going out, I like going to events, I like being around people, I like socializing with people, you know, I like different energies, you know, um, learning stuff from people, you know, traveling to other countries and, you know, seeing people's um, ways of life. So, you know, for me, the biggest thing that I had to adapt to was like when I had to wear a mask, not mm -hmm. being able to smile at people. Cause like, that's so big for me, you know, like when I see someone, you know, I like to, you know, smile at them and, you know, just spread um, positivity. And I wasn't able to do that. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> I can't even smile at people. But see, as beautiful as your smile is though, it's like your eyes, like all of your eyes are just like, like that, like that Tyra Banks thing that smiles. Like, oh, smiles. I yeah, see, and then I have to get in the mirror and learn how to smile so that I can just, you know. But your eyes are so beautiful that I'm sure you just look at people. I'm sure you could look at me negatively and I will still be like. <laughs> All right, let's try. See, I'm like, I still love it. Like, I still love it. You look like you're trying to figure out a piece of my soul. I'm into that. Uh, Raindrop, I do have a random question, two random questions for you. One was going to be a little bit closer to when we were talking about your cooking. How terrible is CMOS? It's not terrible at all what do you mean is it isn't that the isn't that all of the stuff that everybody was trying to drink all of the fruits and no you were... no 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 uh, those were the bitters oh uh, okay cause... yeah and so the bitters are roots that come out of the ground and you boil them so they're really bitter <sighs> so those were we were drinking three different bitters in honduras so the sea moss is just comes from the sea it's just a moss that comes from the sea uh, but right. i'm not going to say Sea moss tastes good, but it's nothing like the bitters. Nothing that was, at all. That it was just featured, like a fishy taste. Yeah, that was featured in Last Days of Left Eye, and that was one of those where I was like, <laughs> I never threw up though. You didn't. You didn't. But Lisa I never threw up either. I don't think my brother ever threw up. No, and Lisa was like, <laughs> just like y'all ain't shit. That's amazing though. I've always like hearing them talk about the pH balance in the water in Honduras, just thinking mm -hmm. about how different it is and how much like we could actually improve our way of life in this country Absolutely. is still one of those things that I hope we can kind of tap into a little bit. I mean, I know we're a little bit more self-conscious than we were 20 years ago, mm -hmm. but I hope that we can get to a point where we are just putting, being a little bit smarter about the foods that we put into our body. Right, and if the world doesn't, you can. You know, yeah, what I mean? so you don't have to follow what the world's doing. You know, that, that's true. Do um before I do before you go, uh, we have a little bit of time. I do want to play a game with you, but okay. I, hope... I like games. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a cute game. Uh, but I do have a random question for you because this is just something that I thought of and I wanted to ask. Uh, Supernova is Lisa's solo album and one of uh, I think the greatest gifts that an artist has ever given their fan base. Um, do you have a favorite song on that track, on that album? Yes. Hot. Ooh. Hot. That song is hot. <laughs> Listen, I watched the, the live in Almost Legal 21 when it was their last performance together and they used the hot sample for the Waterfalls rap. 
Mm -hmm. And that's still shit that I'm like, I know we that, can't do this, but I was like, awesome, I though. can't even imagine how incredible they would be right now, all three of them. But I know we can't yes. really do that. I know. I know we can't <laughs> but do But that's something I'm working on as well, you know, uh, putting it on the streaming platforms. So that should be, it should be on there next year. I'm not sure the date yet, but you know, I'll let you know. Even no matter what day, it's a gift from you all to give that to us because it is yeah. one of those albums that like, I remember hearing that it was gonna be like this hip hop album with like Lenny Kravitz and all this shit. And then when we got this spirit, like I, we, they always used to say back in the sites that it was like, we expected a Left Eye album when we got a Lisa Lopez album. And that's exactly, and that's the reason why, you know, the record company wouldn't stand behind it, you know, because it was so different. It didn't fit the mold of anything, you know, but, you know, Lisa was more into bearing her soul, connecting with her fans, you know, spiritually. Um, and, you know, the fans know that, you know, yeah. so the fans love the album because they're getting Lisa. You yeah. know what I mean? They're not getting, you know, a song that's going to be played on the radio that, you know, maybe like the most popular song or go number one. No, that wasn't her um, goal. You know what I mean? Her goal was to touch the fans and express, you know, certain things in her music. So, And it was, and we just appreciate you for continuing to keep her legacy alive, for you doing your thing, because that's just adding more art to the world. And you know we love that. <laughs> you are such a humble human being. I literally could not love you anymore. Um, is there anything you want to shout out? Any upcoming projects besides what we talked about that you want to uh, put out into the universe before we play a game? Let's see. It's like literally so much stuff I'm working on. I would just say just, you know, stay tuned for, you know, Lisa's book, her biopic, a possible series, you know, one of the streaming sites um, like Netflix. I'm not sure if it's going to be Netflix, but um, stay tuned for some music. I mean, it's just and a lot more stuff, you know, some stuff I can't really mention right now. But um, yeah. We love that exclusivity, that like upcoming <laughs> yeah. projects. Uh, before, I think I'm gonna mess this up, but I'm just gonna put that really quick. I knew I was gonna cover that. Oh face. my God! But this is Raindrop and Lisa being the cutest. Aww. And I just wanted to put that uh, image up just so we can have a little bit of uh, some more- Oh, my hair is still the same. <laughs> <laughs> Bushy. <laughs> Y'all look beautiful. All right, Thank we're gonna you. play a game right now. It's called Song Association. Okay. Do you, have you ever played Song Association? I don't know. So I'm gonna basically give you a word and all you have to do is sing me a song with the word in it. It's super easy. You don't have to, you don't have to belt like Brandy. Okay, so is it a song that's already a song? A song that's yes. out already? Yes. Okay. Like any song in the world you can think of. I don't even care if I don't know it. It's just going to be a good time. We're just going to have okay. some laughs. Okay. Okay. And uh, we're okay. going to try it out. Okay. See, see how we go. See how we do, right? Okay. You can also rap if you want. Like if you can't think of a song and there's a rap randomly, I'm going to turn the comments on in case someone randomly wants to help you out <laughs> with that. But you're getting a lot of hearts right now, girl. It's like consistent. Oh, All right. Your first you. song, your first word is never. <laughs> Never be the same. I don't know how it goes, but it's the song with Melanie C and Left Eye. We will take judges. We will take that. We will take that. I was going for Never Will I Ever. Oh, <laughs> but see, I put Never and E B A. That's so I was that, like, yeah. That that's true. They are literally uh, never would have made it. They're they're helping you out in the chat. I love that. Okay, our okay, next. Okay, good, good. You guys, I need help. Help me, please, please. Okay, go. Your next word is gonna be rock. Hip rock rain drop. Let me see your body rock. Hip rock rain drop. Let me see your body rock. Yeah, you know I was gonna do that, didn't you? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm listen. I'm trying to help you just promote yourself <laughs> to my 25 followers. Um, let's try two more, right? Let's try two more and have fun with it. Let's try dance. Oh, the, the word is dance. Yes, sorry. <laughs> I'm a dance machine. Something, something, something. <laughs> she said, I'm a dance machine. Uh, okay, that's good. D judges, judges, we will take that. We will take that. Okay. okay. And the last word is night. The last word is night. Oh, it's late, it's night. And I'm <laughs> never the one back in the gun. Got some other raw chicks for that. Lay your pants flat. <laughs> so yeah, ladies night. Uh, 
Amazing, because not only did you use the word night, you also used the word never in that. That is. Oh, did I? You I said sure never did. the one packing a gun. Got some other problems. I did. I did. Raindrop <laughs> Lopez, I love you so much. You are amazing. I love you too. So. Thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. And honestly, if you need, uh, if Lisa ever had like a gay hairstylist that was a little Latin looking in the movie, you know, I will do it for free. I don't care if that's bad for business. I will do whatever you need. It's not bad for business. For free all the time. Relationships I are worth more than money. Message. <laughs> Message. <laughs> Raindrop, I love you. Everyone, show some love I to love Raindrop. You too. For and thank you, us. everyone, you know, who watched. Like, Lisa loved her fans so much. And I know you guys know that. So, you know, I love you guys as well. And it's my goal, my goal in life to continue her legacy. So, thank and you. We, we really, really appreciate it because I feel like I ask any of my best friends, I talk about Lisa and TLC every day, like, they're still putting out new music. Uh -huh. So I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Make sure to Thank check out know. raindropmusic.net, everybody, and go follow Raindrop. She is the jam. <laughs> Have a Bye. great night, my love. Bye. You too. Mwah. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, the queen. <sighs> y'all, that was amazing, y'all. Raindrop Lopez the one and only joining us here on the small ass Tito Bonito show. Shout out to all the fans, all the TLC fans who are in the chat tonight. Why does he say Lopez? Because that is her last name, but it's with an S, not a Z. Uh, Y'all, I hope you're having a good time watching the show right now. We, uh, really quick before we continue on with our next special guest, I do want to shout out uh, my damn self entertainment. Uh, that is the name of the entertainment company that does not exist yet for the next performer and myself. Uh, <laughs> these comments are wiling right now, but that's good. We love Left Eye and we love Raindrop and the entire Lopez family. Make sure to also check out the Lisa Lopez Foundation, which is an amazing charitable organization. It's been around for a while. Uh, check them out. Also, shout out to this video of my niece randomly uh, fucking up the word beach. Oh, wait, that didn't come through. Okay, we're not going to do that. Uh, Y'all, really quick, before we bring out our next performer or next artist, I'm going to try this really quick because I tried every episode and maybe Lisa is going to be with me today on this one. Uh, shout out to my abuela, whose birthday is today. Uh, we celebrate Mimi, who just celebrated her 21st birthday. I don't know how that works math-wise. Frijoles, that's horrible. Okay, never mind. Y'all... Let's bring on our next performer, our next artist, who is the shit, the number one entertainer of the world, Miss G's motherfucking Louise. Please spread your legs and uh, put your phone on vibrate. Put it in between your legs. Pray somebody calls. <laughs> I'm a mess. Wow. Wow. The Lisa Left Eye Lopez of Burlesque, everyone. Give it up for G's Louise. Hey. Hey. Hi. You are getting, you are serving vacation realness right now. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, best friend. Hello, best friend of mine. How are you doing today, my love? I was loving that interview. I wanted more. See, that's what I'm saying. I could do all of these guests for mm -hmm. one hour episodes, but I like the idea of keeping y'all wanting more, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't By the way, have Raindrop back again. Please, Raindrop, you know I've been wanting her to come back uh, since she did the episode right now. You're obsessed. I literally am obsessed. Really quick, uh, I do have a disclaimer to say to the world watching. Uh, this person below me is the reason why any of you give any sort of damn about myself. So okay. check out that Venmo. Check out that Cash App. Make sure you throw her some money, all right? Because it is tough as hell to have the title of number one greatest entertainress in the world during a pandemic. Some bullshit. <laughs> Geez, you're still killing the game, though. You are still... Am I? Listen, for a pandemic, yes, honey. What Listen, top you percentage... you interviewed uh, 
Rain dropped second, so we'd have kept them views. Cause now you're down to eleven, bitch. We should have interviewed Rain Drop second. Listen, I'm not gonna lie because this also goes on. Left. This goes on YouTube as well. Uh, nobody can see how many views we have. Uh, there are a lot as of right now. <laughs> <laughs> These people in the comments though are still giving you uh, life though right now. This is Jeez Louise, the best burlesque performer of all time. <laughs> Hurricane <laughs> Katrina. How is your screen name gonna be Hurricane Katrina? Not only is she, <laughs> like, what? I am also coming to you from New Orleans, so. I was gonna say, are you triggered by that? <laughs> you, even though you didn't live there at that time? I didn't live here at that time. You, you, it's still a part of where you are right now, currently. <laughs> <laughs> She's Louise and I are silly as hell. I call her the left eye burlesque because I uh, understand that she is not only as crazy as she is spiritual. And because ever, everybody thinks I'm crazy. Thinks. That's the operative word. Thinks. But you are one of the kindest, uh, most amazing people in the fucking world. Yeah, I'm but really fucking nice. I don't know about nice is the adjective. Rich, I am nice. It's more like... I'm not Kind, but I think I'm you're nice. kind more than nice. Okay, wait. I guess not. Yeah. Oh, damn this it. is why I say kind because I but do believe the opposite. Yeah, I guess. Because I think it's I kind think to tell people the truth. I think like Ellen, and we all know Ellen sucks. Oh, you're thinking kind like charitable. No, I'm thinking kind like the realness of it, which is like if I need to tell you if i need the truth from you you're gonna tell it to me and you're not gonna sugarcoat it and you're not gonna be like oh you're my best friend no you're gonna be like bitch if i'm like hey i'm balding you're gonna be like yeah too bitch a nice person overall I'm nice. but you are a nice person you're an amazing person you're one of the hardest working people i've ever fucking met in my entire life you are one of the biggest I, icons I, you know what? i'm really not i really could work i could do more i could it's like frozen right now i cannot See your life. I'm right frozen? Now. Yeah, you're frozen on me. Oh, there you go. You look beautiful. Say what you want me to be. You're frozen when your heart's not open. Ooh. Come on, crows. Come on, Madonna. <laughs> Are we playing the game? Yeah, I was going to say, do you want to play a couple of games? Your heart. Yeah, I want to play the lyric, the word, the song game. Okay, we can do that. Let's play. Do, 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 I look song like Elton John right now. I look like Black Elton John. You do kind of look like Black queer Elton John, even though Elton John is kind of queer, but he's still white, so he's like almost not as queer. <laughs> oh, well, shit. Manny Oakley is in the motherfucking chat. And really quick, I got to shout out Manny Oakley who sent me this care hey. package. Look at this. They made this specifically. It says Manny Tito Oakley. Bonito hey, with, a Cuban, Manny Oakley. with the Cuban flag. And then look at this a Cafe Bustelo. Uh, put in some dinosaur ass fucking. Uh, oh, cons I love Cafe Bustelo. And then look at this. This is a frame. Uh, yeah, hey, Bill. Hey, Theo. And the lyrics are uh, from Celia Cruz's uh, La Vida es un Carnaval, which is amazing and super positive, especially during these times. So shout That's out. That's amazing. Shout out to Manny Oakley, who uh, half sponsored this episode, and you fully sponsored the other half. Jeez Louise. I did. Do you want to play? You want to play a couple games? Yeah, let's play, bitch. Let's go. Let's play Song Association. Song Association, you know the game, the word. I'm going to say it, and then you're going to have to sing me a song with it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Your first word, and this is going to be a tough one, is baby. <laughs> baby, 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 baby. So much love in there. I got so hey. much love. Hey. Baby, baby, baby. Yes. As if he okay. gonna. That was. I got ready. You had that ready. Okay, the next word is going to be dangerous. Dangerous? Um, something about you makes me feel like a dangerous woman. Something about, something about, something about you. She's so dangerous. Hey, That's the one. Dangerous, dangerous. That girl is so Bam. 
That was the one. That was the one I wanted to hear. And you fucking gave us two. Do you get extra points? Yeah, I gave you, you a medley. You gave you get two points extra if you give a medley, right? I gave you a medley. <laughs> All right, you want another one? We're gonna play like a couple games. Oh, I want another one. Here's another one. Your next word is sexy. Sexy. And you can't use Justin Timberlake sexy back. Sorry, no, no Justin. I'm planning on it. Uh, sexy. If you want my body and you think I'm sexy, come on, baby, let me know. Let me know what you're talking about. If you want my body and you think I'm sexy, yeah. Yes, I do think you're sexy, young lady. What about one more word? One more word. Okay, 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 okay. The word Give me is a hard home. one. Give me a hard one. The word is home. 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 Want you to home. Home. Home is where I'm with you. Yes. Home. Want you to. We got a home. shout out, uh, home. Christina Nakai, on that home one because you know she's married to uh, Seth. Who's in I that know. Band. We stayed at. We stayed at the house. That's so amazing. Oh, that was song association. I'm with you. Hey. Jeez Louise, you you better bust out a fan. That was dope. Do you want to play a game that you created? Okay. We're going to play Name That Stripper, y'all. This is going to be a game ass episode, y'all. I love strippers. We do love strippers here. This one's perfect because I'm in their show tonight at the same time as this one. Can you name me this stripper? Bellison from Cleveland, fucking Ohio. Bad. Don't, girl, if you were about to give me her website, I was about to go off. Originally from fucking Mexico. Yes, Bella Sin. Amazing. Okay, what about name that stripper? Oh, <laughs> girl, what? What's yeah, that's hard. Oh, okay, wait. It's a head. Oh. The face right here is, is what I took out. Are they dressed as a bug? Is They're going like this, kind of. Getting LaRue? Nope. You got one more shot. Oh, no, girl. <laughs> that is Gia Lady. What? Oh, damn. I know. Yeah, no, I've never seen that photo of her before. I knew it was going to be a hard one, and I didn't get to it last time. Uh, what about one more? one more? Name that stripper? OK. You can't just have one yes and one no. What about name that stripper? Ooh, Sergeant Device. Yeah. Yeah, bitch. I know them titties anywhere. San Francisco, California. She's going to be in the Pansy Craze Peach Show. The what? Say that again? The San Francisco treat. Rice rowdy up in this bitch. She looked just about says that she didn't see the picture of Gia Lady either. I tried to make it hard. I was do. I have G's Louise, the number one performer in the world. Yeah, I know everybody. I'm the encyclopedia of burlesque. <laughs> now, this is a game that I saw today because I did hit you up and I was like, girl, I don't know what to do today. I'm nervous about everything. Uh, okay. And then I found this game and I thought it would be really fun. So the way that this works is we're going to fuck a dry erase board and a piece of paper. We're just going to save a tree and we're just going to say it. So we're going to oh, play. I got. You got one? I got paper in. That's what I'm talking that's, that's what I'm talking about. Prepare. That's Prepare. Funny. Prepare. We're going to play the best friends challenge. Do you know how to play this game? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I made Pochop play this at the Jeez Louise Variety Hour and she lost. Oh, so if I lose, is this the last time you're ever going to be on the Tito Bonito show? No, I'm taking over. <laughs> I told Jezebel I was so nervous today. I wanted her to just do a blackout like you say and just have her come on the show and be like, hi, I'm Tito Bonito. I'm taking over this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're going to play the Best Friends Challenge because okay. we have now been best friends for almost 15 years. Oh, that's crazy. Can you believe that you've dealt with my ass for that long? I really cannot. I'm very humbled at the fact that you put up with me for this long. I I'm, really cannot. I'm just... <laughs> she said, I really cannot. <laughs> Uh, so this is what's going to happen. We're going to ask some questions. I have to answer as if I'm answering for Jeezy. She is going to answer for me. So let's say if I say favorite. Oh, I'm bad. Clean. Okay. Yeah, favorite cleaning utensil. She's going to say what I, she thinks my favorite cleaning utensil is. That's not how we're going to do a little bit more basic. So let's okay. try it out. We're not doing points. Whoever wins gets bragging rights. Right? Okay, I'm ready. 
Okay, the first question is, uh, and don't say it yet, we'll write it down and then we'll say it. So when you announce who you are, I'll be able to say whether or not, damn, I didn't write a piece of paper. We'll just say it now, fuck it. I forgot. Say, write it so I can write it down. I was nervous. Okay, what's each other's favorite TV show? Ooh, what's your favorite TV show of all time? And then I have to answer what's your favorite TV show of all time. Of all time? Of all time. Pick one or two. It's just like, we're not, these rules are very nonchalant, girl. They're, nobody's going to judge you. You're not getting graded. This is okay. just so I can fill up the time and have your beautiful face on my screen. Okay, hold on. And then we can answer it now so people know that I'm not lying, because I wrote it on my computer. That is, uh, que pasa US Air one day at a time? Oh my God, that's so good. We also would have accepted that 70s show, but you oh, destroyed it. That's the other one I was trying to think of. That's your favorite favorite. Yeah, but you know what? Que pasa USA, I've known longer, and I didn't expect you to say that, so that is so fucking good. <laughs> Shout out to Ileana, your partner who has a fucking actual copy of the pilot. That is amazing. And what I wrote for you, you can't see it because it's on my computer, but I wrote SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh! That's a good one. It's not it though, right? No. Is That's it girlfriend? A cartoon of all time. Hold on, I gotta let my cat in the room. Scratching <laughs> at the door. <laughs> this is what you get when you get live entertainment, y'all. You never know what's gonna happen in the pandemic. SpongeBob, I almost got that right. See, y'all, this is. She might be changing. I mean, she might be changing. Me. I mean, you're not wrong. Oh. oh. Okay. What is the best character to you in SpongeBob outside of SpongeBob? What's the best character or my outside favorite of SpongeBob? Character? Which one? The best character or my favorite character? Your favorite outside of SpongeBob. Mm. I love Squidward's bitch ass. I he's do too. I... Bitch ass bitch. He's just he's like a darker version of fucking Rabbit from Winnie the Pooh. He's like Blanche. Wait, so what's your favorite human people show? Not Blanche. Oh, what's my favorite human television human production? Oh, what can human I do? Oh, Boy Oh my God, I knew that. You did know that one. Yeah, you I, know. Clearly, I knew that you love Boy Meets World, which yeah. show fucking, we are Corey and Topanga of burlesque looking at self. <laughs> We're not as and you're also not that. really a fan of Girl Meets World. The whip? They were toxic, though, so... Corey and Topanga? Yes, but all of them were assholes. Yeah. The <laughs> mom's okay. They're all pretty awful. <laughs> Is that what you're watching? you just like being like, at least I'm not in that family. Mr. Feeney was cool. Not Mr. You can't come for Mr. Feeney. All right, all right. Let's do another one because that's literally only the first one. I'm okay. so into that. Uh, what is our favorite movie of all time? Oh, what's your favorite movie of all time, bitch? Oh, God. I don't know. I did play this game with Jezebel before. And she had me fucking crying. What's your favorite movie? I don't even, like, fuck with movies like that. I know. I was. It actually took me a second, and I'm not going to lie. The one that I came for you. Uh, no. We'll see how you react. I'm just making something up. <laughs> Uh, Selena, listen. <laughs> oh my. You can't be kidding me. This is an emotional ass episode, y'all. Yes, yeah, Selena is one of my favorite movies of all time. I cannot watch it without crying. It's true. It's not my favorite, but that is very good. I What's love that. What's your favorite? My favorite movie is Wizard of Oz or anything Batman. Oh, damn it. I should have said Batman. It's okay. That's now we one for one. I don't now think of Batman as a movie. It's just kind of like a thing. I mean, yeah, because it's not one movie, but like literally any Batman movie I'll watch and I will not bitch about it. All right. I wrote for you, favorite movie of all time, A Little Princess with Shirley Temple. Oh. Did I get it? Oh, that's, that's, that's my favorite one of all time. I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, the movie. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so good. Let it out. We did good. We did good. We got her crying, laughing. We're, oh. we're the spectrum of G's Louise right here on the Tito Bonito that show. Yeah, done sat on all the papers. Oh. <laughs> I just want to keep it real. Uh, I found out and uh, remember that that's her favorite movie, Jeez Louise's favorite movie, because of this magical thing called Twitter search. I just pretty much put favorite movie and then put your account. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I've never seen no A Little Princess before, but I'm going to say it. She says it's her favorite movie. She's cuddling up to it. Oh, it's literally, it is. It's one of my favorite movies. I'm literally watching that shit tonight because I felt so bad that I hadn't seen it. Okay. All right, our next question is, what's you and my favorite holiday? What's our favorite holiday? Like, individually. Like, what's your, what's my favorite oh, holiday? Oh, what's your favorite holiday? And then I'll answer what I think your favorite holiday is. Okay, your favorite holiday. I think we are a match on this one. Christmas. I was going to say Halloween or Christmas for you. I was going to say Halloween, but then I second guessed myself. Well, I, Halloween is harder because I don't celebrate it as much, but that's because my career is Halloween. Yeah. But is it Christmas? It is Christmas and Bitch, Halloween. It's definitely, it's definitely Christmas because I yeah, love fucking love Christmas. Christmas. What's our birthday? Yours is June 24th, 1985. Yours is November 17th, 1980. <laughs> <laughs> 1984, bitch. She had to look real quick. She was like, what's this INDB really quick? <laughs> November 17, 1984. Yes, y'all. Okay, okay. We got one more. Or no, two more. Three more. Favorite color. I always Four? thought yours was purple. What? Green. Yes, green is ding, 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 ding. And judges, we will accept green. Green is literally the best color of all time. I always used to think it was purple for you, yeah, but then I said that once. It is, right? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I knew it. You look Why so do you think it was not? Because I remember saying it one time, and I think you were like... I think maybe... it changes. Yeah, like I think you were like red or blue. And then I was like, isn't that purple? I definitely did not say blue. I probably said red. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, but I said purple and I went with my gut and follow your gut, y'all. Yeah. Okay, favorite song of all time. This one is super hard. Your favorite song? Always Be My Baby by Mariah Carey. <laughs> <laughs> do -do -do -da. Do -do -do -da -da -da. <laughs> Messiah Carey, listen, we love Daydream. We love some fantasy. We love Messiah. Okay, uh, I just threw that out there. What's your favorite your favorite song of all time? And I think it's a cop out if we say, you know, Midnight City is this <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wrote for you. You can't see it on the computer. I wrote Midnight City by M83. Do you know, geez, Louise, that every time I hear that song, it's like an instantaneous like trauma where I just I start hear crying it all the time. I cry every time. If I'm at a show, I'm like, so okay, much. you can change that song. She's not here. We weren't through so much. Y'all, we did an amazing act. We need to redo some shit, girl. We need to bring that back. We need to really bring that back. Okay, one final one, and I know this is something you don't have to answer, but I just want to show everyone how much we love each other. What is my middle name? And I'll say yours. Rolando. And yours is Nicole. Bra, 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 bra. Bo, bo, bo. Which is also a fun fact because you and Lisa Left Eye Lopez, which you are literally my version of, you both have the same middle name. And fun fact, when I asked Pochop uh, what my middle name was on the Best Friend Quiz, Pochop got it wrong and we have the same middle name. <laughs> Listen, we are not here. We're not here on the Tito Bonito show to talk shit and mad shit about Pochop. We love literally one of my favorite memories. <laughs> 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 I just remember being like, bitch, it's the same middle name as yours. We literally have the same middle name. <laughs> I love that, and I actually don't even think I knew that I about. I love Pocha. you, Jennifer. I love you. We love, we love Jennifer. Are you fucking kidding me? Jeez, Louise, uh, why are you so perfect? Is that a question that I can ask you? Is that something you have a formula for? You know, it's not a question that can be answered. It's an answer that can only be experienced. Oh, 
you practiced that fucking answer before, honey. That was cute. Next we better ask me that all the time. Listen, because it's <laughs> because Jeezy, I'm not saying this to like I'm saying this because it's fact. Just like Shea Coule is literally the best drag queen of all time, you are literally the best burlesque performer of all time. It's been my opinion. And now I have physical facts. Do I still do prove. burlesque? What? Do I still do burlesque? According to the Pansy Craze Peep Show on Sunday, you still do. Wow. I might submit. I, what did I send in for that? I'm literally taking uh, the What a Maniac lip sync and just uh, putting you in it. <laughs> oh, do a fan cam. Submit a fan cam oh. for me. I've never had a fan cam. I should make you a fan cam. It wouldn't be that hard. But I want to do it with like a song. We need Jeezy. more footage. When is the album coming out? I need a producer. I need some tracks. I need to, uh, so we know our beloved uh, Matthew Messina is apparently going to be a pop star now. Um, Matthew Messina needs to hook me up with some fucking music called Tracks. That's what I'm saying. So if you're not featured on this album, or even Shea kool album, which I'm still trying to figure out how you're not a feature on a Shea Oh, Shea, put me on the album. Is that an exclusive? This outfit? I meant, oh, I thought you oh. said Shay put me on the album, and I was like. No, I'm to asking Shay to put me on the album. Because you are literally the jam. Oh, you know what I also put? Um, for favorite movie besides A Little Princess, I wrote any movie that she is in. <laughs> that is not true, because I've been in some shitty. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, and we're going to be, You're So Talented is being uh, broadcast on. It's TV? on open TV. Yeah, it's on all TV. Y'all can watch She's Louise on two different shows right now, right? Yeah, I'm featured on You're So Talented, and I have a little part in The Right Swipe, all on open television. Cheesy, uh, when eventually either you or I get uh, our late night talk show, will we be able to have one... Uh, Joaquin Phoenix ass moment where we can just show up to the show fucked up and crazy? Um, bitch, that's the first day. <laughs> I'm like, this is, I already signed the contract, bitch. We in for at least 22 episodes. Oh, no, we, so. we got contracts. And then, Jeezy, what is your favorite thing about me? About you? My favorite thing about you... Don't think too hard is that you'll call <laughs> you'll call me on the phone to like talk about an issue or a problem but you've already worked out the issue <laughs> basically by like talking about it to yourself through me on the phone for the first like 10 minutes of the conversation no, I always go, how are you doing? And I then you go, and then I always go, I always go, girl, let me tell you about this really quick. And then I go, whoa, 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 Anthony, Anthony. Jasmine, how are you doing today? <laughs> I just go to you because you're so kind. I and love I love talking to you. I love talking, if anybody knows me, I love talking on the phone. I love talking to people. Um, on the phone. I love talking to you on the phone. So I love when you call me. And I love, because we'll be like, all right, bye, I gotta go. <laughs> and we'll be like, bye. 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 And I'm like, I'm hanging out, bye. I'm hanging out, bye. But that's the thing that I keep saying, and I know that that's, <laughs> I didn't experience that as much in Miami and LA, but like Chicago and you specifically, you are the first friend that I've ever had in my life that kept it real without me being like, Oh, I'm offended that you said that. Like, I was like, oh, no, you're genuinely helping me. You're not being a bitch. You're just telling me the truth because if I let some other people sugarcoat it, then I'm going to go out there looking like an asshole. And we can't be having that. And you can't be associated with stupid-ass assholes. I don't want to be a stupid-ass asshole either. Same. I'm not dumb. <sighs> Jeezy, what you got going on coming up this, uh, in this month? What do you got a big Halloween month? Is it canceled for you? Today's Friday. Okay, tomorrow, Saturday, you can see me with the Oklahoma City Burlesque Festival online stream. 
Sunday, you can see me with the Pansy Craze Peep Show on live stream. Next weekend, you can see me with the New York Burlesque Festival on live stream. Um, I've recently been featured on some podcasts talking about my life and experiences. Um, and then I'll be doing some stuff at another time later on. I don't know. <laughs> That's a lot of things to be doing, girl, during a pandemic, girl. That is three yeah, shows this weekend. So three of Lolis, but we'll be coming out in October. So Lolis Bonito, Lolis Bonito. I know we got to get you on there. I would love to be on it, even if I'm just like a quiet actor. Visiting, you have to fly your ass down here. If you let me hug you, I will come during a pandemic. Yeah, you just have to be here for like two weeks. Can I be there that long? Yeah, why not? Let's make some art, honey. The eight degree. Yeah. Yes. 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 Look, the mullet of burlesque right here. Business on the top, party on the bottom. Yes. Did you see right. my crotch? Did you see it? I can't see your crotch, actually. Wait, Instagram, hold on. Hold on, unfortunately, wait. is not. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Jeez Louise is a twerk goddess. A femme fatale, the most multifaceted person I've ever met in my life. Poetry, singing, dancing, acting. She could hurt her knee and still continue on with a thriving career. There's. Um, <laughs> she said, "Did you say that's enough?" Give me one more. Give me one more word for song association. One more word for the song is woman. Woman, something about you. <laughs> and thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that was so good. Thank you so much, Jeez Louise, for joining us. Please make sure to Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, this young diva. She got, what's the other one? Uh, Zell? Zell, I'll have that. I don't know what the ones people have, but please support this multifaceted artist, creator of Jeezy's Juke Joint, an all-black burly, burly cute. Yeah. Can't even talk right now because I'm just so enamored by those dancing orbs of loveliness you call a chest. Oh, she gonna give us some of that booty too? Listen, y'all, this is free entertainment that you deserve <laughs> to pay this young lady for giving you. This is... St. Louis grown, Chicago raised, New Orleans bound, bussy. Oh, I hate that word. I don't even know why I said, I don't know why I said bussy. Jeez, you want to tell anybody anything before you go? I can't believe it's already eight. It's almost 10. I got to go door dash, so I'm going to go. Yes, make sure if you see this young lady in New Orleans. What would you do, what would you do if you order DoorDash and this would show up? Too? You know what I would do? I would look at you, respect you for what you wanted, but if you were trying to give me a little something, I would make it like a porn video and go, let's go. Get your door in my dash. Dash my door. <laughs> door. Alright, going to cut us off. I love you. For some reason, it lets me go on longer than an hour, but huh? I love you, girl. Isn't that weird? Isn't that... Peculiar. Wait a minute. Wait, do that again? Can you do that again with your glasses? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do it so that we can both. There we go. Do it one more time. It's like we don't do burlesque at all. <laughs> <laughs> now I love you so much. You can't tell who we are. You can't even tell. It's like Clark Kent. What? I love you, Jeezy. Thank you so much for coming on the show again. Make sure you check out episode four, where she takes over the whole fucking show. Plus performances, y'all. I love you. Thank you, my love. Bye. Bye. Oh, my gosh. My best friend, y'all. That is my best friend. We did the best friends challenge, and we survived. We survived. I think we're, we're friends now. Um, y'all, thank you so much for tuning in to this epic-ass episode of the Tito Bonito Show. We are here on Instagram Live every Friday night, so please check us out. Uh, support us. I got my Venmo, my Cash App, and my PayPal everywhere. And if you want to find out who is going to be on the show next week, we have drag queen sensation, future TikTok uh, viral star Johnny Reinhardt looking 
trade as fuck right now. And we also have the incredible Coco Ono performance artiste, international star Coco Ono in the show. So please tune in next Friday to make sure that you see another new episode of the Tito Bonito show. Also, please make sure that this Sunday you come and check us out on Twitch. We are creating a very special online edition of the Pansy Craze Peep Show. And that's going to be uh, at 6 p.m. Oh, wow. I don't know why that's so messed up. But that's the flyer. You can see it on my Instagram and all of that. Please check us out 6 p.m. Pacific, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, the Pansy Craze Peep Show featuring a slew of amazing performers. Shout out to Jake. Oh, my God. I love you. Uh, please check us out on Sunday, this very fucking Sunday. Also, tomorrow, if you're in the San Diego area, I will be hosting and performing the public viewings of the Ooh La La Review. Come check us out. We got Donna Hood of Tease If You Please there and a slew of variety performances that are the shit and perfect to get you out of this little problematic pandemic for just a second. Also, check me out. My softcore uh, OnlyFans is only $5, so make sure you check that shit out. Also, uh, what's the last thing I want to tell y'all? Vote. Y'all, please vote. Uh, vote for Biden, but vote. I would really appreciate it. Uh, and make sure you share this video with everybody. I'm going to put it on Instagram TV and YouTube, so check it out. We really appreciate you. I say we like if there's a fucking production around here, but it's just my damn self-entertainment. So thank you so much for watching, y'all. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, make good choices. I worry about y'all. Bye.